Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Giving God all the glory. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels, and today we're coming out of the book of Luke, uh, the fifth chapter and the twelfth verse. It's Luke 5 and 12. And it reads out of the King James Version. And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Again, and it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Now, this is a story of a man who's got leprosy, and he sees Jesus, and he falls on his face before the Lord. And he says, if you will, you can make me clean. See, this takes faith. This takes faith. He didn't care about what people would say about it. He saw the Lord, and he acted on faith. Lord, if you can, you can make me clean. Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. One thing our God is always willing. That's what we need to understand. Our God is always willing. The question that we must answer is, are we willing to fall on our face before the Lord? Are we willing to fall on our face? Are we willing to disregard what people think? Are we, are we willing to put aside things that are important to us so that we can come before Jesus and say, if you will, thou can make me clean. In this case, clean means healed, clean of leprosy, clean of a disease that they had no cure for. And that's what we can expect out of Jesus also. Now, of course, Jesus has died and been resurrected, and we won't see him walking uh, down the street like this man did. But, we, but Jesus is with us every day. Jesus is with us wherever we are. At any time, we can beseech Jesus like this man did to heal us, to strengthen us, to guide us, and to lead us. The problem is we don't do that enough. The other problem is we haven't established a relationship with Christ where we are constantly in communication with him. So we need to start an start a, a intimate relationship with Christ. Now how do we start that relationship? We read his word. See, this, this man who had leprosy, he probably heard Jesus speak, or he heard people talking about Jesus and what he'd done and what he was saying. And, and the word of Jesus was there. Jesus was the word. So this man addressed God's word when he addressed Jesus. And, and, and he was healed. We need to do the same thing today. We need to know God's word so we can address his word when we need things, so that we can... We can, we can live by his word. If, it, if we're acting on his word, if we're believing his word, then we can become healed also. We can become healed also. I'm going to just give you a short testimony. You know, um, I was diagnosed with uh, Graves' disease, which is a hypothyroid problem, and I was told I was going to have to have periodic checks and take medicine uh, for the rest of my life. You know, when I was in Iraq in 2010, um, I threw my pills away and I said, Lord, I'm not going to worry about this illness. I'm not going to worry about uh, taking these pills. I'm trusting you uh, with this sickness. I know that you can heal me and you will, Father. And I threw my pills away. And I didn't worry about it anymore. And I uh, got a letter from the doctor saying that uh, she was cutting me off because I wasn't uh, doing the things I needed to be doing and, and, I, and uh, she was afraid something bad was going to happen to me and she didn't want to be uh, associated with me in any kind of way if I wasn't going to be obeying what she was telling me to do. So, uh, you know, a couple of years went by. You know, I had no symptoms, had no problems whatsoever, and I had to go take a VA physical. Um, and I took my VA physical, and, you know, last month I got a letter that uh, they reduced my uh, VA entitlement by 10%, my disability by 10% because 10% of it was based on my Graves' disease. And my Graves' disease was... 
when it gotten better, it was gone. So they they reduced my uh, they reduced my disability by ten percent because they claimed my 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 Graves' disease was no longer an issue. And see, I made that claim myself, and I believed it. And that's what we have to do. We have to trust God. We have to trust God. You know, God acts on your faith, and when you stand on faith, God will respond. Hey, let's be like that man with leprosy. Let's fall on our face before God, and let's just trust Him. And let's believe him. And let's put our request before him. And let's also make that intimate relationship that we, intimate relationship with him so that we know how he wants us to live and how he wants us to carry ourselves and, and come before him. Hey, that's all the time that I have. Hey, God loves you. God bless you. And I love you too. Have a great day.